and I just woke up which is why I still have that kind of like scratchy raspy sleepy voice and I am about to make some coffee and breakfast and magically become human again so I figured I would show you what I'm making today. I started pouring some almond milk into my measuring cup and then I ran out so I have a new almond milk here this one is just from Whole Foods. I need three-fourths of a cup of liquid total, so I normally just divide that in half and I do like half almond milk and then the rest water. And I normally go a little bit over. And I'm making oatmeal, by the way, in case you guys are wondering. Pour that in and I'm doing the quick cooking oats today so they don't take as long because the other ones take like a half hour to make. These take like five minutes. And then I'm just turning up the heat so it can warm up and once it's hot then we can add in the oatmeal. The milk is ready so I'm just going over here to my oatmeal. This is the McCann's Quick and Easy Steel Cut Irish Oatmeal. I just really like this brand of oatmeal best. I also like the regular oats but today since I want my breakfast really fast I am making the quick cooking oats. So I just have a quarter cup here and that goes in the milk like that. And they take about five to seven minutes to make. Now over here in this mug, I have made a chocolate hazelnut chai latte. And it is freaking amazing. I wanted to like replicate what they had made at Starbucks this year. And I think this tastes even better because the one at Starbucks was good but it was also kind of weird too and I love chai and I wanted to figure out a way to make a really yummy chai latte and of course I had to add a splash of hazelnut to it and this is not as unhealthy as you may think because I used pure cocoa so 100% cocoa and then I sweetened it myself. If you would like to see a recipe for this let me know down below in the comments because it is so good and I'm really happy with it. I've added in half a banana to my oatmeal because this is how I like to add a little bit of flavor and some nice texture to the oatmeal. So I just add this in at the end right before the oatmeal is almost finished and then I mash it up and the banana just adds like a nice sweetness to the oatmeal, a little something extra. My oatmeal is done and now I like to add a little bit of honey to it. And I'm almost out of honey so it's like kind of on its last leg here. It's struggling to get out but I just drizzle it like that. And then I like to add a little bit of cinnamon and then I just sprinkle it with whatever fruit I have today. I am going to be using blueberries and raspberries. And I also like to add a little bit of milk around the edges. I'm so weird. Like I don't know why I like it around the edges. But that is my breakfast today so I am going to eat it before it gets cold. I just finished showering and painted my nails and now that I'm thinking about it I feel like I should have waited to paint my nails because I need to do major cleaning and I may mess them up. I use the OPI drip dry drops though so hopefully that helps but I painted my nails with Sally Hansen's golden roses I believe the name is it's a rose gold color and it was limited edition with the fall collection but yes I have my towel on my head so my hair can dry I'm just gonna let my hair air dry today and I think I'm gonna do a no makeup day also since I'm gonna be cleaning and just kind of getting stuff together doing laundry and I also have this guy coming in the middle of my forehead and interesting story behind this guy a few weeks ago when I had shot my holiday party like hair makeup and outfit video which I will link down below for you guys if you haven't seen that yet 
um, I had a pimple in the same place and it was this guy and it started to come out and then it kind of like went away and now he's coming back again and I'm like what are you doing I thought I killed you this is like a zombie pimple he's coming back to life and I just can't get rid of him so I'm hoping that not wearing makeup kind of helps my skin breathe and helps this guy go away faster but I'm gonna start off with doing the dishes so these are the dishes that I have in the sink right now. I have some already loaded and then I also need to wash this guy over here. I know this probably seems really weird like I'm telling you guys how I wash my dishes but this is what I'm doing today. So um, I rinse my dishes before putting them in the dishwasher. Some people do this, some people don't. I like to rinse just because I feel like it gets the dishes extra clean. I don't do like a full-on wash. I just kind of try to get like the residue out of them. My dishwasher is loaded now. We have the top rack and then the bottom rack. But I just wanted to show you guys this mug that I got. This was actually a gift that I got recently and I love this mug. I collect mugs so this is an amazing Christmas one. This is Miracle on 34th Street and on the inside here there's a little quote and I love this quote. I actually Instagrammed a picture of this mug. On the inside it says, Oh, Christmas isn't just a day, it's a frame of mind. I really love that because I couldn't agree more. I feel like Christmas is so much more than just giving presents to people. It really is about being in the holiday spirit. I think this quote pertains to a lot of things in life. So like I said earlier this month, I feel like DIY is so much more than just making crafts and little projects. It can also be an attitude or a frame of mind, like instead of waiting for somebody to tell you to do something, go out there and do it yourself. If you're curious about something or if you want something in particular, figure out how you can work to do it yourself. And I really love the do-it-yourself attitude. I feel like it's something that's very admirable and I love seeing that in other people because I personally love figuring out how I can do things myself. I've always enjoyed looking at things in a more philosophical way and looking at things beyond face value. I think if you take the time to reflect on things a little bit, it brings out this side in you that you may not necessarily be that familiar with, but you can get to know that side a little bit more by just reflecting and really looking back on things and thinking about them in a different way. So that's what I'm challenging you guys to do today. I know this sounds Sounds super cheesy but it's something that's really helped me over the course of my life I guess I'm just feeling nostalgic recently because it's holiday season and my dad and I always just had really great conversations my dad was amazing at challenging me and getting me to think at a very young age just think about things in a different way and to form my own opinions so that's what I'm kind of doing with you guys hopefully but one of the things that he used to tell me when I was a kid and I would go up to him like dad I'm bored there's nothing to do he would tell me Ingrid you know what the cure for boredom is curiosity. Go find something you're curious about and you won't be bored anymore. So that really encouraged me to just even like the littlest things to ask questions and to be very inquisitive and to figure out how things worked and I spent a lot of time doing that as a kid and I think now in my adult life that has transcended and I feel like that was a very valuable thing for me to learn. And with that, we are gonna get back to doing the dishes. I know that was kind of random, but I just have thoughts that just kind of strike me in the moment, so I just had to seize the moment there. But I do need to wash dishes. So here we are underneath my sink. I have some supplies and I'm going to be using, oh, this is actually my last little dishwashing capsule. So I am going to recycle this bag here and put this capsule over in here. I really like these capsules because they get your dishes nice and clean. Like you can have some residue on your dishes. I try not to have too much, but like this little speck and that speck, that will come off with these dishwashing capsules. So it's really nice. It leaves everything sparkly and clean. And then locking it up. 
and starting it. I like to do my dishes first so that way while I'm doing other things, my dishes are at least getting clean. I have some pine needles on the floor that need to be cleaned up and then just some random, you know, marks that just happen when you're walking around on the floor. So I'm going to start by sweeping, I think, with the Swiffer and then I also have these like wet pad Swiffer things that I'm going to be using. So I normally start off with the dry to just kind of sweep up all of the debris and the dust. My apartment just loves to harbor dust bunnies, so that's where these come in handy. And then I'll come in with the wet pads. These actually clean up pretty well. I am very pleased with these, especially if you don't have a huge area to clean. These are great. I also have my little festive towels here, which I'm really excited about. And I actually moved my winter candy apple soap out here because I switched out the guest soap in the other bathroom. So I'll show you guys that in a second once I get there. The floors are nice and clean now and I am heading into my bathroom where I'm going to be cleaning the counter and the sink. I use the Clorox disinfecting wipes just because these work really well. I actually just use these to clean my stove because they actually do cut through the kitchen grease. So these are great for like cleaning around the stove and your kitchen counters and stuff. I literally use these wipes for like everything because they're just super, super easy to use. So then I'm just going to wipe down the sink here, get that nice and clean. One of my weird pet peeves is having a dirty sink. It like, I don't know, it just like grosses me out having a dirty sink. And I've just, I've been like that, not for like ever, but definitely since college. Like when I had to share with other people, I was just like, okay, I like having a super clean sink, so I'm like always cleaning my sinks, which reminds me I need to clean my kitchen sink because that has some stuff in it. But I did replace the winter candy apple stuff with some Jo Malone stuff, and this scent is amazing. This is the pomegranate noir candle with the pomegranate noir body cream. Oh my gosh, this is such a perfect scent for this time of the year. It's really warm and rich and slightly fruity and it just smells amazing in the bathroom. And I also got the hand soap. This is actually a hand and body wash, but I have it as a hand soap and then the hand and body lotion. And my flowers are still going strong. I've had these for over a week and they're still alive, which I'm very happy about. So woohoo. I'm in my bathroom now and the tub really needs to be cleaned because I actually haven't been able to use my shower for a little bit because the door broke. So I had to wait for a handyman to come and fix it. And while he was fixing it, he had to get in the tub. So the tub got dirty and I actually just scrubbed it a little bit to get all of the initial dirt off. But now I'm going to be using this cleaner. This is the Method Daily Shower. And this is great because you can also use this on your bathroom mirrors, glass, tile, um, in your tubs and you don't really have to scrub, you can just spray it, and then the next time you take a shower, it all rinses off, and I love this stuff. I use this on my mirrors also, but I do wipe it down, so I spray a little bit, and then I take a towel and wipe it, and it gives a nice streak free finish. This stuff is great because it doesn't have an offensive odor. It's not toxic. That's actually a problem I have with a lot of other cleaners. Even if I'm in a well ventilated area, they make me feel really sick and they give me a super bad headache. So this stuff is awesome because it really doesn't even smell like anything. And then the last thing I need to do is laundry because the pile is kind of overflowing. Over here, I actually just pulled it down and knocked it over so I could start sorting through everything. While I'm looking at my laundry, I guess I'll give you guys a sneaky peek at my room. As you can see, there is a rug now. I have this dresser. And on my dresser, I have these fake flowers, which are really nice fake flowers because 
they look pretty real. And then I have a Nest candle. This is the bamboo one, which smells really fresh. And I have a Jouer candle. This is their soy candle, which smells like gardenia, jasmine, and honeysuckle. This is probably one of my favorite scent combinations. I love this candle. And then I have my Chanel hand cream right here. Now walking into my room, this is currently what it looks like. And I have a bed now with a headboard. It's amazing. My bed is no longer on the floor. I have two side tables and this amazing rug. I feel like it just makes everything look really cozy. And Leah and Mary have been doing an amazing job. So I'm excited to see everything just all come together because they're still working on it. But this is what it looks like so far and I'm really loving it. I love all the natural light coming in. I love the reclaimed wood. This is such a me thing. I just can't have enough reclaimed wood. I think it's so beautiful. And another thing I have up here, these are three candles and I'm actually going to be giving them away. So today I am going to be giving away this flannel candle from Bath & Body Works. This one smells really similar to mahogany teakwood, just kind of different. It's really fresh, it kind of has that cologne smell to it, and it smells amazing in a bathroom. And all you have to do is make sure that you are subscribed to my channel, which is the channel that you're watching this video on right now. Number two, give this video a thumbs up. And number three, tell me down below in the comments what your favorite holiday memory is. I'm gonna be giving away this candle through Twitter. So this one is a spiced wreath candle and it smells like cinnamon bark, accents of creamy vanilla, and rich red apples. To win the spiced wreath candle, you just have to follow me on Twitter. My Twitter is Miss Glamorazzi. I'll have the link down below for you guys. And then you just need to tweet me using the hashtag DIY December and that is it. You can tweet me as many times as you'd like and then I will be DMing the person that wins. And then Mr. Leaves Candle over here will be given away tomorrow. But that is going to be it for today's vlog. I still have a little bit of cleaning to do so I'm going to finish that up. Gotta do the laundry. But I will see you guys tomorrow. I love you and I hope you all are having a fantastic holiday season. Bye!